What is up guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about five quick tips you need to know before shooting any video or photo with smoke grenades. So recently Haley and I went on a smoke grenade uh, photography trip. We went out to our college, uh, like railroad tracks, they run straight through the college. We went over there, did some sweet photography with a, an orange and a purple uh, smoke grenade. So the first tip I would give you is make sure you, you are using high quality smoke grenades. Um, you can go to like Walmart or Target and buy those kind of cheapo uh, little party favor smoke grenades, but I would not recommend that. Especially for something like a photo shoot where you want it to be high quality, I would recommend getting good quality smoke grenades. So the uh, smoke grenades that I personally use were um, the Enola Gay smoke grenades. And these are kind of like industry standard. A lot of people use them. They last between like 30 to 45 seconds, which is great. But they're also super thick. They're colorful and they're super thick. So it gives this really cool effect on the camera um, without you doing a lot of work. You want it to be too windy, to be too rainy, anything like that. Especially wind. If it's too windy, your smoke is or the smoke smoke from the smoke grenades is just going to blow away. It's not going to be uh, clumping in one spot. So you're not going to get that really cool effect um, of this smoke. It's more just going to be like a mist than like a smoke cloud. So even if you have to, I would recommend moving your shoot to a different day if you have to, if it's too windy on one day, because uh, it's, it's completely worth it to move the shoot and get a better shot later than to sacrifice your shot just because you want to do it now. The third tip I would suggest is make sure you plan out your shots before you begin shooting. What Haley and I actually did was we planned out exactly what she was going to do before we started shooting. So one of our shots that we did with the purple smoke grenade is she was holding a like pumpkin bah, or pumpkin thing in her hand. Picture, because I can't explain it well. What we did before we started shooting was I had her hold this pumpkin thing in different positions, kind of see how it would look, when she, like where she was holding it. And we took the ones that we liked and we took the ones we didn't like and we separated them so we knew exactly what poses she was gonna do with the pumpkin before we started shooting. Now the other one that we did with the orange smoke grenades, there were two actual like locations we did that were actually one location. So we were on the uh, train tracks and while we were shooting it, or like before the smoke grenade was actually going off while we were shooting test shots, um, Haley was like, well, why don't I sit down against the train track walls? And that ended up being actually one of our favorite shots from the shoot. Um, so definitely plan out what you're gonna do before you start shooting, because as soon as you pull that smoke grenade and the smoke starts coming, you only have between 30 to 45 seconds to actually shoot. Um, so plan it out beforehand, know what poses you want them to do. And it kind of sounds stupid, but we even had Haley take the smoke, like, take the smoke grenade, just nothing in her hand, and kind of like wave it so she could see like exactly the movements to get the smoke kind of in her face and around her the way we wanted it to. So it sounds stupid, but definitely, definitely pose and practice before you start shooting, especially because these smoke grenades are like eight or nine dollars each. You only get one shot or 30 seconds per smoke grenades. And kind of going off that last point of planning the shot before you actually start shooting, look up uh, reference pictures before you start doing it. Look up inspiration, look up whatever you want to that'll help you kind of get that idea of what you want your shoot to look like. So um, I saw this picture from Brandon Wolfel and this picture I found online that had kind of the effect that I was going for. So one of them had a pumpkin and one of them had kind of like the mist in the face or the smoke in the face kind of feel. So I knew I wanted those two kind of images when I was shooting my shoot because shooting smoke grenade photography is very unlike a lot of other ones because you only get 30 to 45 seconds, like I said, to do a shot. And the last tip I would have is just to have fun with it. This sounds kind of trivial and like you should expect it, but shooting smoke grenade photography can be kind of stressful because you only have such a short amount of time to do it. Um, have fun with it. Buy a few more smoke grenades if you don't think you're going to be able to do it in one or two, but just have fun. So something that Haley always does in her videos, she does DIY videos, is ask uh, for people to show and share what they've done. So if you guys want to do that Instagram name right here, go ahead and share your pictures with me, anything you want to post, tag me in it, whatever. Um, I'm always down to see some new cool pictures, some new awesome styles. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.